<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex here. Hey, it has been a minute, huh? Um, it's been a hot minute, actually. And I do apologize, like I said, uh, wedding season's got me in the trenches, but that's really good. That's good for me, and I, you know, I'm blessed every single day for that. Um, right before wedding season started, though, I told myself, you know, I need to find a new look in the office because my last setup was not, I thought it was good, but it wasn't good, you know? And uh, like many of you, you're like, I need to change the scenery, so that's what I needed. And that's what I set myself off to before wedding season started. It was my old setup. It was over there in the back, as you saw in my other videos. And so my back was actually against the wall next to the window. But now I move forward. With the other setup, I have to snake around to exit out the door. Now I can just exit out the door, come back in, sit down, start up with my work from home setup right over here. And when I'm all done with that, I can hop on over here to this side and I'm ready to go. And you know, and if there's a game going on, I have the TV right over here. Or if I just want to play video games, I have the TV right there. So I did a bunch of designs on paper and it was one thing seeing the designs on paper and then like moving things to where I thought they were going to look good. And it wasn't, it wasn't good. One thing it's on paper, one thing was when I actually do it. So just keep that in mind before you start any remodeling of your office, okay? My space was actually 10 by 10. Yeah, 10 by 10, 10 by 11, 10 and a half, something like that, give or take. Now, I don't know if you recall from my other videos, but the wall used to be gray. I, I didn't like it because when I take real estate photos, lately I've been seeing houses just gray walls. And I was like, okay, I'm getting really, really sick and tired of seeing uh, gray walls, especially in my own home. I need, we need to give some walls some characters, right? So anywho, with that being said, this bad boy, it's a sage green by Sherwin Williams and it looks really dark, but it's not. And when the sun hits over here on this side, it actually illuminates the room even more and it actually gives that actual, that actual sage green look. So it's not as dark as it seems. The first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the TV. The TV is an LG OLED 55 Model CX. And this TV, I got it for a couple of reasons. The reason I got this TV is because it's got the best colors that I've seen on any TV ever so far, beating out any other ones that I've seen. No hate on the other brands. The user interface is really fun and it's really easy to navigate. The Magic Controller is really easy too, um, especially because it's got a little roller pin on it and you can navigate like that as well. Now the speaker that is connected to the LG TV is a Bose Solo 5 system. And that speaker is really good. It doesn't overpower anything in the living room. So that it's, that's a really good thing because I don't have to have my wife come in through these doors, tell me that I gotta turn my ish down. So <laughs> that's a good thing, but it's still loud enough and it drops some really good um, bass on it. So even, even better for me. All right, so for entertainment purposes, I have a Sony PS5. Best thing that you can get right now. And now this TV paired with the Sony um, PS5, <whistles> match made in heaven. The colors, gaming, Everything about it is awesome. And the only time that I play video games is between probably like October and March because that's when wedding season is off for me and I haven't had any weddings during that time. But I only probably play like one or two video games. That's about it. I usually buy them during Black Friday when they're 50% off. The most previous game that I was playing is uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That thing was, that thing was awesome. I, I had a great time. The graphics, everything looked, the scenes, everything was awesome about it. So the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is my key light. My key light is a white Amaran 300C. Now, don't think that I like I went overboard on lighting because it's not it's not for that purpose. I repurpose everything that I have, so that light is actually my main key light for any project that I have. Sure, I got to take it down. It's not that much of a hassle to put it back either. So when I don't when I don't have it anywhere in the field, it's right up there. It's actually my favorite light. I actually use it for a lot of things, even just one single light and using natural light, it really is nice. And the best thing about the Amaran 300C is that it has an app called the Sidious Link app. So you can control a lot of features on it. You can control the intensity. Right now I have it at 12%, but here's 100%, <laughs> too bright. My face looks like a ghost. And we can control the lighting colors as well. So it's by color or more than by color. And the best part is that I can control it and pair all Amaran lights in here, which is one over here and one back over here. The next thing, um, obviously we wanna have some greenery in the office, apart from the colors and my shirt, no, uh, is my snake plan. I actually picked this up at Home Depot. I needed something fresh, something that I can look at uh, rather than gray walls at the time. It's an easy plan to take care of. It doesn't require a lot of maintenance. So the next thing, okay, the next thing, is a very fond memory for me because I wasn't at the game, but I watched it live and man, man, oh man, if you know, you know. It is the Dame Time Game Shop winner. 
against OKC back in 2009 playoffs. If you guys remember, it was an intense series, but if you don't remember, here's a little clip. Home. Lillard, long range three, and it's good! I, I know, right? <laughs> he just said bye-bye. So a funny story about that is I was actually watching that game in our room when it was just me and my wife and she was already sleeping and I saw this shot fly and I knew it was already in. It was like something told me, you know that instinct, right? So I jumped up screaming and then all of a sudden my wife was like, shut up! And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. So it was... <laughs> It was a memorable night for me, okay? <laughs> All right, moving on to this side of the building. Uh, this is my work from home setup. I don't really want to talk about it too much because it's work and you guys don't need to know anything about that. I'm, I'm not on the CIA or anything. It's just, you don't need to know anything about that, okay? It's just, I'll just tell you this much. I work in an IT department. That's that. It's just tell everybody to turn it off and turn it on. Simple. <laughs> the work from home setup that I got is a two silver Dell monitors, which are 27 inches with a Dell thin client as well. My keyboard and mouse setup are both by Microsoft. That's all, that's it. Sitting in front of the Dell thin client is an autograph basketball signed by Damian Lillard. Yes, Dame time, and I am a fan. And in front of that is my Sony FX3 sitting on a cage on a, in a tripod and a side handle. It is pretty much set up for a running gun situation as is. I typically have the 24-70G and Mark II lens on it, but right now I am using it to record this video, so that's that. All right, next to the monitors, I have my Seagate 8 and 14 terabyte drives. You're probably wondering, why don't you just get a Synology NAS system, right? And you know what, guys? I'm trying to get there. I don't have the money right now, but I'm trying to get there, okay? Uh, for now, they just stick out. They're, I'm totally okay with how they look. I don't have a problem with that at all. Now guys, you guys are probably wondering what the cords are and they actually have to wait behind them to actually have them running through a sleeve um, towards the ground. I don't really care that they're on the ground, but because they're tucked away in the back and behind my drawers, so it's not a, it's not a problem, it doesn't bug me. Uh, I could do it better, but it's a different time. Next to the hard drives exists my SanDisk 2 and 4 terabyte SSDs. I use the four terabyte SSD because SSDs work way faster than hard drives. So the hard drives are more just sort of a backup to the SSDs. That's all, that's all there is to it. Next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is my Fujifilm X100V. I have this bad boy in a gray version and I have used this bad boy in every way possible and every single time that I can. I love the recipes that you can add into them and they're infinite. So if you're feeling more nostalgic, you can go for that kind of recipe. There's it's endless possibilities and it's really light and supposedly fits in your pocket, but hey, no one wants to walk with this big bulge in your pocket, <laughs> in your pocket. Um, so I put it in my everyday carry bag. All right, so now for the computer system. So I recently upgraded to the Apple M2 Mac Studio and this thing has been, there's, there's nothing else I can say about it. Everything about it is awesome, it's so fast. But honestly, the things that I love about this Mac Studio, are, they're infinite. They're, I love the speed, the functionality, the user interface, everything about Apple is just, it's good. With the Mac Studio, I actually like that it has those front, uh, those two USB ports in the front with the S, uh, SDXC card slot as well. Now, I'll name out some of the specs for you guys on the Mac Studio, but it wasn't really a lot that I upgraded on this bad boy. I actually just have it at 32 gigabytes unified memory one terabyte SSD storage. That was probably the only thing that I upgraded. The accessory kit, the Apple M2 Max with 12 core CPU, 30 core GPU, 16 core neural engine. And in the back, it's actually got the four Thunderbolt ports, two USB-A ports, one HDMI port, one 10 gigabyte ethernet port, one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That headphone jack still comes in handy because that Bluetooth latency, it, it's, it's off. So, that hardwired connection is, is still good to use. So just keep that in mind, okay, if you're looking for a Mac Studio. And right over here, I have my Sony 1000 XM2 wireless headphones. They are noise canceling, and I got these bad boys um, back in 2018 in the black version. Um, I have no complaints about these headphones. They fold out, um, they help me focus on my task at hand when I wanna block everything else out. They are over the ear headphones and it really does help me block out all the white noise in the background so I don't have to hear anything else. And 
honestly use these a lot i use them for the gym i use them for mowing the lawn when i'm in honestly they've been running strong ever since i've gotten them i really have no complaints about these headphones i've had them for so long and they don't, they still feel brand new to me now above that is man Funko Pop from the mandalorian series this is the way so every single time i'm editing this is the way all right moving on for the monitor i actually had a benq monitor and apparently the BenQ monitor had the exact same colors as the Apple Studio display. And it really did. And it had like a, like a matte finish to it. So it wasn't so glossy and too bright. However, that thing failed on me within the first month that I got it. And I was, I was disappointed. And it was way cheaper than the Mac, than the uh, Apple Studio display. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's, it's like we always say, right? Buy once, cry once. Well, now I had a buy twice moving on from that it was a revelation because the apple suited display oh my gosh it couldn't be any better in my opinion and i'm not gonna dive into the specs and to all this nerdy stuff no okay look the reason i got the display is because the colors match the same thing that it has on your phones and on the ipad so Needless to say, I don't have, when I airdrop something, when I airdrop a uh, wedding video from my studio, from my Mac studio over to my uh, iPhone, it has the exact same colors and I don't have to worry about, you know, making little tweaks because what I'm seeing on the Apple studio displays was gonna show up on the iPhone or an iPad or a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, et cetera, et cetera. That was the selling point for me. And knowing that a lot of people, a lot of my clients have iPhones, it was just, it was a no brainer. The Apple Studio display uh, is a 27 inch standard glass tilt adjustable stand. I love that I can tilt it if I need to up and down. Um, I love that it has the four USB-C Thunderbolt ports in the back. Now, if you have an Apple Studio display at home and you like it, let me know. I won't put it down in the comments. I want to see what you like about it. Um, you, you heard what I like. Now, let's get into peripherals, okay, that are on my desk. The first one is the Apple trackpad and I got it in the white version. Now, the reason I got it in the white version is because I was on the Facebook Marketplace and saw somebody who was selling it for really cheap. I think I got it for like $45 or $35. And I was like, you know what? Sold. And the one thing that led me to buying the trackpad is because when I was in Final Cut Pro and I would have to move my timeline over, I kept popping up that pop-up menu, right? And it was frustrating and I, that I just couldn't just glide over. Here comes the trackpad and now I can just move things over left and right. I don't have any problems with the many popping up at the bottom. So that, that was a good selling point for me. All right, so the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Apple Magic Keyboard. I got it in the silver and black version. The black, I have it as an accent color here in the office. So it was a no brainer for me. It's got a 10, uh, 10 number keypad over here on the right hand side. And it's slim, it's low profile. I have no complaints about it. And Apple, it just works. It just works together. Now, I'm probably gonna contradict myself mentioning the Apple products, but there's a reason, okay? The mouse that I have is the Logitech M720 mouse. Um, I love that I'm can be that i able to customize any of the buttons on, on here, whether it be the scroller, the right and left clickers. I can pair up to three devices with it. I got just gesture options on the side, and it's got an ergonomic feel to it. Um, I don't have big hands and I don't have little hands. Now the selling point for me on the mouse was that I could go into the Logitech Options Plus app and I can actually control and customize a bunch of the options here. As you can see, the middle scroller button, the right button, left button, forward, back, gestures. And honestly, that was really good because that means I don't have to go through but pressing buttons on my keyboard. I can just do it directly from the mouse. Now, all the peripherals are are here that I use are sitting actually on top of a desk mat. I got a black cheap Amazon desk mat. Honestly, I didn't really need anything expensive. It's just a desk mat. Now some of you guys are probably like, just a desk mat, but in all reality, I, I didn't really care. I, I'd be cool to get one in design, but black is cool for me. I'm, I'm all right with that. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is actually a recent purchase that I made and it is a three-in-one Apple device charger. The thing that I really like about this guy is um, it's got a charger for my phone, charger for my AirPods, charger for my Apple Watch. And the cool thing about this is that any single time that you charge something, there's a little icon that lights up telling you that it is charging. When you remove something, it obviously 
the light goes away telling you that it's being in use, but when you put it right back on, it lights back up. It does put the phone in standby for you, but it's okay. It's You can still see all the notifications that are coming through. Now the charging is done via USB-C on both ends. I connected it to the back of my Apple Studio display and I was connected back to the, to the base. Um, it does come with a charging cube, but I didn't use it because I just, I didn't need it uh, and I didn't have enough outlets for it. So I just put it right behind the Apple Studio display. If you're looking for something like this, um, honestly, I don't have any complaints about it. I really like it. I like the little notifications that it gives you that it's charging. But if you're looking for something like this, I'll link it down in the description for you guys so that way you guys can go peep at it. Now, the next thing that I want to talk to you guys is kind of dumb. I actually found this thing in the in Target. When you walk in and there's like that $3 section right there, that's actually where I found it. It's actually a flower pot from Target, but I actually just use it for storing pens because sometimes you just want to write things down. And I don't want to put a flower block in my view for the TV. So now you're probably wondering, what do I use as a table? And honestly, it's no secret if you haven't noticed already, I actually use two butcher blocks that I got from Lowe's. One is a six foot by 25 inches in width, and the other one is a uh, four foot by 25 inches in width. Now the six foot butcher block is being held by two metal table square legs. Uh, they are 20 inches, 28 inches in height and 18 inches in width. They're actually really sturdy. I don't have any wobble, wobbling going on with the tables and you can move, you can maneuver the height just a little bit by undo, unscrewing and screwing on the, uh, the little pieces at the bottom. And the four, the four foot butcher block is actually on top of the six foot uh, block and supported by an Ikea brown helix drawer. It's a classic drawer for any YouTube setup and home office setup. What I have inside the Ikea Alex drawers are books, business cards, cords, adapters, kind of junk. I haven't really gone through all of it. It's kind of like a warranty drawer, you know what I mean? That one that you just don't open. So don't judge me for it, guys. <laughs> I'm getting to it, just step by step. Now, for the chair that I'm sitting on, I actually got it like two years ago and I haven't regretted my decision then. I threw up my back a couple years ago and the chair that I got was kind of um, budget friendly, but when I would sit on it for long periods of time, my back would start hurting and my hip and I was like, this is not good. So I started scouring Amazon as well, landed on the chair. There were so many options and so many things to choose from. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna pull the trigger. This has got good uh, reviews on it. And with that being said, let me show you. The chair that I got is a gaming chair by Audifold and it's also considered a PC chair. Uh, it's got a lot of lumbar support in it. It's a racing style chair, but I don't mind it at all because I haven't had any back problems or hip problems since I got this and that, that's a bonus for me. What I like about this chair is that it swivels and you can adjust the back for you. So if you just wanna lean back sometimes or just lean, or lean forward after a while, that's something good that it does. You can raise it and lower it does allow you to move the armrest up and down or even move it inwards or outwards as you'd like. Another cool part about the autofold chair is that it's got a leg rest for you so you can go ahead and just pull out the leg rest, flip it over and put your legs on it and you can just chill and relax on it like it was a recliner. It's got a back pillow for you if you need it. I kind of don't <laughs> like the pillow because every single time that I get, out of the, get up out of the chair, that damn pillow falls and it's like, it's become a pet peeve. Up on top of my closet, you're gonna see a daily Omita phone poster. That's all it really is, I use it for marketing stuff. So behind me is something really important to me. During the summer, smoke is in the air, right? So this bad boy helps me control, helps control my asthma in a good way. Um, I'm talking about the Blue Air 3350i Smart Air Purifier. This thing is perfect for keeping the air clean in your space. Now purchasing this was a bit of an overkill um, and I gotta admit that. But in a way it wasn't, I kind of planned ahead. The reason I got this one is because it covers 600 and some square feet inside your house. And if you're nerdy about these kind of things and you're looking into buying one of these, it actually, it, the dimensions are 19 inches by 12 and a half. If you're looking for something that cleans up pollen, cooking odors, dust, pet dander, bacteria, smoke, and other lingering smells, um, this would be the one. Uh, like I said, it was kind of an overkill, but it's not because I prepared ahead in case I ever need to put this in a different space in my house. I just move it right over there. I have two of them, but in case smoking season comes around and there's a bunch of smoke in the air, that's why I grabbed two. One for like the living room, one for the master bedroom for at night, that way we can breathe easier. Next to that 
is my Thor hammer. Um, the Thor, th the Thor hammer actually is a toolbox set that my wife got me for Christmas one year. Uh, if you see, if you've seen this on, I don't know anywhere on Amazon or any other website, maybe TikTok or something. It actually, the, the handle is a hammer. Comes with different tools in it as well. I'm not going to show you all of them, but here are some of the ones that I use sometimes. Now my office is not that big, but I needed somewhere where I can store all my items because. As a wedding video offer, you tend to accumulate items really fast and out of control, right? <laughs> so I need somewhere where I can put everything. And in comes a Husky workbench. Now this Husky workbench is 61 inches in width by 21, 26 inches in depth. It's a heavy duty 10 drawer uh, workbench, which has a pegboard and a shelf in matte black, perfect for storing. And the drawers, I'll go one by one for you guys. And the bottom drawer contains all my empty boxes from my equipment that I use. The reason I keep my boxes is because for resale purposes, that's really, that's all it really is for. Now above that is where I have all my camera accessories here. It's got like mini tripod, card cases, camera straps. Mm, above that sits my audio drawer. And here's where I keep all my audio stuff. It just, it's in one spot. And above that drawer is where I keep all my batteries and cords, such as like HDMI cables, charging cables, anything that involves charging or display, this is where it's all kept right here. All right, now down the middle, I have all my bags and some of my tripods. Here are my newer panel lights as well that I that I had when I first started my journey. Now above that is where I have miscellaneous items, such as like gaffers tape, atmosphere uh, spray, dividers, painter's tape, cleaning solution. And above that, more miscellaneous items. Uh, I got my business cards, Sony headphones case, hard drives galore, uh, Nintendo Switch. Guys, I just have it in here for right now. So don't, don't, don't be harsh on it. I got my Ursa circles or stickies for microphones. Next above that are all my Apple products where I have my MacBook Pro, charging cable for it, um, charging cube. Uh, charging cues for iPhones, charging cables, and some of my watches are in here as well. I don't really like to do Apple Watch all the time, sometimes I just wanna be really archaic, so I have my regular watches and they're all dead. And above that I have filters or any like small um, accessories such as um, smart Wi-Fi outlet plugins, my leveler, a um, couple of filters that are over here. There's also a door on the left-hand side of the Husky workbench where I store all my light cases in because it's got enough room. As you can see, I have two in here. That's pretty simple. The big one, the big drawer. I have my drone. I have the batteries for it, the controller, controller for the Mavic 3 Pro, uh, DJI Alamo Pocket 3, a couple more accessories for camera rig. I actually have the Peter McKinnon BND over here, the, um, an SSD for my Atomos Ninja 5, and then the XLR handle for the FX3. And on the side, you would see most of the cameras, but again, I don't want to flex on you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the top drawer. Now on top of all that, I have all my lenses. Um, I have my gimbal. I have a fake plant from Ikea with a pot. On the pegboard sits a magnet tool holder. I have a bunch of miscellaneous items in there. Across the way is pegboard basket that I have miscellaneous items in. Having gone below that, I have the Hypervolt massager, which I love when I get out of the gym, use it. Above that, on the shelf, is a essential oil diffuser from Target. I just type put in some of these drops in here. Uh, not this time, of course, I pour too much. And then next to it is Darth Vader and Obi-Wan from the hit show is Obi-Wan, right? Next to that is my Google Home Nest Mini for a second gen. What I have lighting up this area is an Aperture MRAN uh, T2C RGB LED tube light. It lights up from 25 to 7500 Kelvin. So there you have it. That's the tour that I wanted to give you guys for my dream home office setup and my work from home setup. It's, uh, it's me. Everything around here says me. Now, the best piece of advice that I can give you when setting up your uh, home office um, is keep it simple. Find a way that makes everything fluid and make it you. You're gonna design, design, design on paper as many uh, layers as you can, but honestly, do them, save them, and try them out. And if they don't work, you're gonna start to realize what's, what's working for you and what's not. 
I like the way that my office is set up now because it's so fluid. I can just walk in and go out as I please. It's got a good feel, a good homey touch and like good feng shui. And some of you guys that are like interior design artists, y'all might kill me for saying those words, but that's like the best way that I can put it. So if you're interested in some of the items that I have here in the office, just let me know uh, in the comments down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about the items that I have here in the office, please do leave uh, some comments down below and I will make a separate video for you guys for that. And if you learn a couple things here in the video and maybe want to take some things back to your setup and you know, you felt inspired by some of the things that I have in here, please leave a like, maybe a sub. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to grow this uh, YouTube channel as much as I can with the time that I have. And I really do appreciate the mo most of you that have already signed up already. And the ones that are coming on board, I appreciate you just as much as I appreciate the ones before you. All right, guys, hope to catch you in the next one.